Welcome Virgos. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Virgos. All right, Virgos. So you Virgos are going to be having a lot of money. Virgos, you have the energy of the Ten of Pentacles. This is wonderful. This energy of the Ten of Pentacles is a really, really positive energy. Congratulations, Virgo. Money is going to be coming in. There is no question about this. So Virgos, again, congratulations. This is really, really looking well. So, you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, Virgos. Your wishes and dreams is going to be coming through. So, um, when we look at this situation, we're looking at you, Virgos. You, Virgos, are heart signs, okay? You're responsible. And with the energy of the Ten of Pentacles, it's a good sign that you, Virgos, are going to be financially stable. Wealth, money, inheritance, so um, business is going to be looking good. And I see whoever you are, um, Virgos who are communicating in business, you are going to be making a lot of money. So let's say that you're a Virgo and you're a salesperson, expect a whole lot of money. And this is going to be good. They're coming down very hard. You're dealing, Virgos, you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. And it is the energy of the Knight of Cups. And the energy of the Knight of Cups has to do with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. Whoever this person is, is between the ages of no more than 50 years old. And this person... Um, can be the energy of a Pisces, okay? Um, and uh, whoever this Pisces is, so uh, you Virgos are dealing with the Pisces, and uh, this Pisces uh, person has uh, gotten money on the false pretend. I see that um, you Virgos are using a lawyer um, to get back this money that this person or a lawyer could be standing. And um, is standing up against a cancer person because this person um, is coming up as a, um, a cancer or a Pisces. Now, the energy of the Two of Cups, this is a situation where they're recognizing some sort of a contract of this person that is not above water. Um, this cancer person, um, um, Venus in Cancer. There is no Venus in Cancer. They're coming down on a Cancer person. They recognize the lies and deceptiveness of a Cancer person. They're going to be canceling a Cancer person contract. They are going to be canceling also a Pisces person contract because they recognize the dishonest play of a Pisces and a Cancer with some sort of a contract. They're going to be um, really um, canceling their contract. The energy of the Two of Cups is always about um, um, partnerships. Um, this partnership is not going to be going forward. They have recognized that this Cancer has lied. And I see the energy of this uh, King of Swords. Whenever the energy of the King of Swords comes up, this person is going to be rooting out and getting to the bottom of the situation because this person recognized uh, that there was some sort of a dishonorable play with a salesperson. It could be a Pisces and a Cancer salesperson. And this um, this King of Swords is using the sword um, to end some sort of a contract. So it could be an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person that is going to be using the sword of truth in order um, to uh, remove some sort of a deceptive play that was happening and transpiring. And they are going to be recognizing that a Pisces and a Cancer, um, they are going to be ending their contract, okay? The energy of the Empress is here, and it's as if a manager step in and has uh, um, called out the managers to look at some sort of a problem and situation that is transpiring. I see a lot of you Virgos are going to be coming out of this situation being very happy and successful because um, you um, women, you Virgo women is going to be showing up uh, um, a Pisces and a Cancer that has created a whole lot of issue on the work floor or um, in your business and you're going to be using a lawyer or using higher ops boss to 
take down this dishonorable situation that a Pisces and a Cancer have created. So if you notice the energy of this partnership, this Venus in Cancer is not going to be happening. Venus in Cancer is definitely not going to be happening. They recognize what this Cancer has done and how this Cancer have created a whole lot of problems and issue. And a whole lot of you is now standing your grounds. So it could have been you Virgos recognize uh, what this Cancer have done and how this Cancer and the Pisces, uh, whether through sales or the producing of invoices, have uh, access data and information and has got money on the false pretend. A lot of you Virgos in sales, you're going to be doing good. Don't forget that it's going to be your period. I see you Virgo older women or really communicating, not turning your back to a situation that is happening and transpiring because you Virgo women recognize so, um, that a young, th these are young people, these people are no more than 50, have created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue um, and has um, either stole money or gotten away with some money. And I see you are using a lawyer in order to regain this money because these people have been taking this money for a very long time. So again, congratulations. Congratulations, uh, Virgo. Um, your money is going to be, or the company money is going to be coming back. But then um, let's see. So the first week you recognize what has happened and what has transpired and you're dealing with a cancer and a Pisces. So. And I see the managers and supervisors, boss, are coming in and it's going to be ending some sort of a contract. And I see the management team is conversating and recognize that a, um, a cancer and a Pisces has created a whole lot of a, um, dishonorable situation where they created problems for not only your company, but also for some of you. And I see some of you Virgo women, especially Virgo women, older women, you have no regrets. You have absolutely no regrets because you decide I'm bringing in outside, um, outside counsel to come in and help me to resolve the situation. So it could have been a situation on the, the floor where supervisors and all of that, and they're going to be now recognizing the foul play um, that was transpired. Then we see the energy of the five of cups in reverse. And it's as if uh, you Virgos in the last week, the last four week uh, with this five of cups in reverse, it's as if you Virgos recognize that, hey, you know, um, whoever this um, worker is went too far. Mars, they're going to be firing um, a um, firing these people. So I see that a lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of a message that a Cancer and a Pisces has been fired in the last week. And I see you Virgos close your eyes and decided, no, I'm, I'm, I'm taking back a um, position and gaining my... Uh, my position and they're definitely going to be firing because it's Morris in Scorpio and Morris in Scorpio is about uh, um, you know you are you are the one that is going to be firing um, this cancer and the spicy so congratulations again um, this is beautiful it is um, a really beautiful um, sense of that you finally get on um, get away with uh, and you know there's no love is coming at you of virgos but it is what it is it is a sense that you virgos had to regain some sort of a stability um in your department or um in your team and however way you're doing it you're doing it and the nine of cups your wishes and dreams is going to come true so a lot of you virgos was dealing um with these people and uh, these people were creating a whole lot of issues okay no love is going to be coming at you, Virgos, but it is what it is. So, um, and I see that a lot of you, Virgos, are, again, a scorpion is going to be upset after what you have done, but it is what it is because you, Virgos, have to regain some sort of a stability and let people know that you're not accepting um, the way they go. So, Virgos, congratulations. Money is no problem. 
um, money is going to be coming in. It's going to be rolling in um, and there is no problem. Let's see the major issues. The major issue um, that is here is that you Virgo women and especially Virgo business women, I see you are going to be the one that is going to be firing and taking your stand. And you Virgo women are not going to be questioning in a situation. I see um, you Virgo women could be bringing in a lawyer against a cancer and a Pisces that has created a whole lot of issues and has took money on the false, uh, false, uh, um, false eyed. Okay. So at the end of the day, don't expect people to like you. You're just making the right decision. You're just being a manager and making the right decision. Um, you know, it's up to people, um, however they look at it. But I see you Virgos are going to be taking back your power. So a lot of you Virgos money is going to be good. Money is going to be extremely good. A lot of you are dealing with a cancer, a Pisces. Um, uh, you're dealing with a Pisces in a, um, the first week. The second week is a cancer. The third week, you Virgo women are taking back your power, taking back uh, your scent to a situation that was transpiring. A lot of you, the sword of truth is going to be coming down where I see that a lawyer is going to be advising some of you. Um, it's better to fire these two um, employees or co-workers. Uh, and I think a lot of you Virgos is going to be deciding to go that route. Uh, and I see that you are going to be, your wishes and dreams are going to be um, revealed because you are going to be making the right decision. So Virgos, congratulations. Again, this is a really, really powerful four week season. Um, the first week you're dealing with the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, people. Second week, I see the boss is coming down and the boss is going to be helping a lot of you Virgos to use the sword of truth in a correct way to fire these people and let these people know that their contract is going to be ended. Um, then I see the energy of in the this uh, um, third week, the energy of the Empress and it is you, Virgo women, who are taking back a stand. You're standing up to a dishonorable um, uh, play that was created in the corporation institution. You have no regrets in the fourth week. And this um, month is going to be ending up where a lot of you are going to be achieving a whole lot of wealth. No love, but it is, uh, um, you know, it's a doggy dog word. And you, Virgos, are going to be making the right decision. So congratulations again, Virgos. Um, this is a powerful, powerful period for you. Um, please like and share these videos. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. A lot of you are going to be very happy leaving the season. Um, please like and share these videos. Thumbs up. Um, business is going to be good. Follow us to the other side by using the subscription button. It's $1.99 per month. There is a lot of information in the archive. Go check it out. This reading is a timeless reading. Whenever it comes up in your feed, it's a time that you're supposed to have it. I do love you guys. Namaste. Until next time.